It's so good to see all of my crafty friends here with me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're looking for various types of craft tutorials and videos, you are in the right place. Today's video is an in-depth tutorial on how to make a plain old piece of copy paper look just like a piece of tattered old world parchment paper. I'll be showing you two different techniques for the antiquing process. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I'll be showing you how to make a vintage bow to go with your old paper. If you're ready, let's make a mess. The first thing I'm going to do is thin out the paper because it's much too thick. And I'll be doing that using packing tape. I'm going to be running the tape on the paper from side to side. It separates better when you run the tape on that grain of the paper. I cut the paper into a couple of workable pieces and now I'm covering the entire surface of the paper with the brown shiny tape going side to side. This type of packing tape is the only one that I've been able to find that will work and I tried a bunch of them. Now it's time for the magic to happen. I'm starting at one of the corners and peeling the paper back. Once I get it started, I'll peel off the entire backing of tape and the paper will be nice and thin. If you try this, make sure the paper is bigger than what you actually need because the edges can get a little torn and damaged. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. I'd love to hear from you. I'm spraying the paper piece with some water on the same side that I tore the tape off of. It's not smooth anymore, so it's perfect for my new old paper. After I saturate the paper, I am going to rip around all the edges. place that doesn't tear well, just spray some more water on it. And if you're wrinkling the paper as you're doing this step, that is great. It'll make the paper look even more old and worn. It's time to age the edges of this paper. In this first technique, I'm using Tim Holtz Distress Ink and a Tim Holtz dauber. You just put a piece of felt on the dauber. Then you rub it in the ink and using a circular motion, go around all the edges of the paper. Make sure you let the paper dry before you move on to this step. Don't forget, watch this video to the very end to see how to make a vintage bow. Just a little bit in the center too. I'm going to faintly stamp some script writing on it to make it look like an old letter that is faded, ripped, and torn. Well, moving on to technique number two. I'm using metallic luster wax rub in champagne ice. Mine was a little dry, so I'm spraying some water on it. I'll rub it around the edges with my finger, just like I did the distress ink on the other one. But this gives an entirely different outcome. It has a pearl look to it. I'm also adding a little bit to the center of the paper. to add some script on this one as well, but I'm using a completely different technique. I'm going to use a stencil and some pre-mixed grout. I want the script to be gray and the grout is white, so I'm adding a little bit of gray paint to it. I'm going to add this bunny picture to the center of the parchment paper. So I'm test fitting the picture to make sure I don't get any script where the picture is going to be.
If you use this technique, make sure you wash off your stencil as soon as you're done. The grout will turn hard really quickly and if you leave it on there to dry, it'll ruin your stencil. I actually made a video using this parchment and bunny picture on a mason jar. Make sure you watch that video and you can see this technique in action. I'll leave you a link below. Using a little bit of Mod Podge to glue the bunny picture to the parchment. And here's how cute this looks on a mason jar. Although this is not really a project video, I'm going to quickly show you a little something you can do with your new old paper. I painted a small canvas peach and now I'm gluing the parchment paper on the canvas with some Mod Podge. Now I'm gluing a cute little Tim Holtz frame that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm adding a few flowers. It looked a little boring, so I added a couple of stamped images and then I did some hand painting over those images. If you're enjoying this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. adding a little bit of iced espresso wax rub to the edges to add to the vintage look. And I'm doing a little hand painting on the stamps that needed a little bit of color. Let me know if you'd like to keep seeing in-depth tutorials just like this one. And now my friends, it is time to make a vintage bow. I cut a length of ribbon and I'm smearing three colors of paint on it on both sides of the ribbon. I'm using the peach that I used for the background on the canvas, blue, and some vintage white. Are you working on a project and hit a block wall? Need help figuring something out? Send me a comment. That could be my next featured video. I love hearing from all of you and I answer 100% of all of the comments I receive. Now while the paint is still wet, I'm wadding it up in a little ball and wrapping twine all around it, and I'll let that sit and dry overnight. Let's unwrap this ribbon ball and see what it looks like. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I upload a new video every Tuesday morning. Click the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. I put together a playlist of other in-depth tutorials. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist.